Hello, Dan Burnham here with DanBurnham.com. I hope I'm filming this at the end of December of 2017. And hope that you folks had a wonderful Christmas. Wishing you a happy new year and the blessings that come with those. Uh, this video is very unique because I want to talk to you about getting the right gap. Having the right gap is so essential to locking in your plan. It's not even funny. So, this is going to be a educational time for you. And it's going to be the crazy world of, oh, I thought I had it all figured out. First off, <clears throat> I use a, uh, I play uh, exclusively Legend Brass Mouthpieces. This is a Holy Grail top. And as you can see, this is a back bore. And this is an old back bore. Now Derek doesn't fool with this stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna talk to you about where you can get this. Now, this is, this is just an instructional. This is an old back bore. This is the rim and the cup of the Holy Grail that I play. Okay, but I had this stuff brought in so I could do a video. Now, this one has the old back bore. This one, my piece, has the, stand, has the Manhattan. So you say, hey, Dan, there's a, this brass piece. What's that for? I'm glad you asked. That is for a sleeve. And so what we're going to do is, let me turn it off. I'm going to let you hear the different sleeves. This is a Holy Grail cup with an O backboard and I'm gonna put a six six seven five six seven five sleeve on it. Now then why are you showing me all this stuff? Because if you want to get the right gap on yours and there we go that's what it looks like this is composed of three pieces I want you to hear same rim and cup same rim and cup Manhattan and this one has a 6.25 sleeve how does that work Mr. Dan this is a, a, a MF Holton LT302. There's a backstop in here where this will slide in. And there's so much discussion about what standard 5.8s. All right, the further away that this end of this goes affects resistance, openness, blah, blah, blah. The closer it is. It affects it. So, I'm going to let you hear. I'm going to play on this same cup, same rim, uh, but with a different sleeve and a different backboard. Hear how fuzzy that sounds? Now, that's an old back bore, same rim, same cup, with a 675 sleeve. Now, here is same rim, same cup. This has a Manhattan back bore, and it has a 625.
Did you know the difference? The difference between back bore and sleeve. What did they have in common? I may have just missed my mouthpiece up. If you heard that, my, my mouthpiece just hit the base of the mic stand. Same rim, same cup. The one on your right has a Manhattan backboard, which is what I exclusively play because it's tighter. Um, it gives it a brighter edge. Um, the difference was the sleeve. The sleeve was 625. This is 675. So before we finish this out, let's switch the sleeves and see. And this is, guys, this is tight. Now, I, I was reluctant about doing this, but getting the right gap, uh, man, it made everything. You, you heard me there. All right, I'm going to switch them out. And on the Manhattan backboard, I'm going to put a 675. And on the O backboard, I'm going to put a 625. Here we go, putting it on. Now, I don't like an old back bore. I just don't. I don't like the feel of it. That's okay. Some people do. Here we go. Now, listen to this. Now, going with that 625 on the old backboard uh, made the low notes come in better. Uh, it helped it, actually, for me, but the O would just seem to close up on me. And everybody's going to be different. There's nothing against the old backboard on, on that Legends make, makes, Legends Breath makes. You gotta find the right gap. That's the reason why the sleeves. So you wanna get five sleeves, Matt Frost. I will have his website on the link after you're done. Have his phone number or email, you can email him. If you wanna lock it in, you got to get the gap right. Now, let's listen to this one with the 675. Now, for this horn, I have three Holtons. For this horn, uh, for the LT302, the 675 does not work good. That works better for my ST307. Now, if I go back, uh, I'm going to put the 625, 625 here back on my Manhattan backboard with my Holy Grail rim. Last trial on the Holton LT. That's the reason why get five sleeves. They're sloped at different angles. So you will find what sinks you in. C's just lock right in. Um, so, in closing, I advocate if you're having issues, you're going to have to go to a sleeve system where you can try different sleeves to find what the gap is. If you don't have anybody that's going to help you, 
this is how it works. You'll have to get your mouthpiece. If you got a rim and cup that you like, and it's not and it's not locking in, chances are it's not the horn. It could be the gap. Six months ago, I didn't even know what gap was. I just put a mouthpiece in and played it. So let's take that to the test here. Now this one here is heavyweight holy grail gap's gonna be different on it it's kind of erratic it's not the gap's not right for me i love this horn love the piece but i do not have as much control over it. the slotting is not as good because the gap's not right. I can use it, but the gap's not right. Anyway, so Matt Frost, check the bottom of this video. Uh, Matt, I'm going to put his web link and his email. He can make you a set of frost sleeves. He can cut your mouthpiece. He did that for me. He did an excellent job. He can duplicate tops, or he can send them your mouthpiece and cut and make a top. He does back bores. You can get all that. If you want to lock, lock your horn in, if you're having issues, there's a very good chance that the problem is the gap. So anyway, I hope this video helps. Matt Frost, uh, his link will be on the same page with this video. God bless you guys. I hope this helped you have a great rest of the year. And I will and wish you a happy new year coming in 2018. Have a good evening. Bye.